Hi guys. Hello. Hello, happy Friday. Okay, we're coming to you from the kitchen. Kitchen. We love it. Uh, we are gonna talk today very briefly about how you can save money in this lifestyle. <laughs> we're gonna try to help you with that. Ask this. us how we know. Ask us how we know. So you start out in RV life, and I think you look initially at your budget. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you need to. And you think like, wow, I don't have a mortgage. I don't have this, I don't have that. I only have a few things. What you fail to realize, um, we did, or me, we didn't fail, I shouldn't say, but you're kind of like, it's like a misnotion. It is um, it's a misnotion. And the reason why I'm talking to you about this is we met two couples over the weekend who mirrored our same story. Like, man, we went fast and furious when we started and now we're slowing down. So that's where we are. We love to be transparent with you guys. And I love to talk with my hands. Um, put them in my pocket. Let's hey, see how long that. I'll put mine behind my back. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, so let's talk today about how you can kind of save some money. One of the things we realized right away is our biggest money was gas mm -hmm. and where we were staying. So your RV resorts are going to be a little bit more money. And when I say a little bit more, I mean a lot more. It's a lot more. It's per a lot more per, per an evening. Um, I'm going to give you an example. You can stay at, say, a state park, or you could boondock for free. So let's put that free out there. Um, if that's something for you, F-R-E-E, -E, um, as opposed to an RV resort where you can look anywhere from 50 upwards to $180 a night. Um, like say Key West in the winter. Mm -hmm. Key West um, in the winter is like 180 bucks a night. If you've got it, it great. If you're full timing and you got it, great. We're talking to the people who are like us, who still work. We don't have unlimited income. Um, you know, we're trying to do this lifestyle and still save and not drain from our savings. So you've got your couple options for where you're going to stay. You've got your RV resorts. You've got your state parks, your national parks, and you have your free. Along those lines, you've got a big gap oh, yeah. of where, of where you want to go. So first you're going to start to think like, okay, where do I want to stay? What's my budget for where I'm staying? Mm -hmm. So I want to give you guys an idea. If you're spending $50 a night, 50 times 30. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. You got to think about that. We've stayed upwards to 3000 a month before. I don't even want to share that with you. That was more than our mortgage on our sticks and bricks home by double. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay. So where you're staying, that's going to be a big factor, your gas. Now, how do you cut down on gas? If this is RV life, this is what you're doing. You need to stay places a little longer. And when we first started, we were super gung ho and we were doing a lot of travel, which was great. And we still are doing a lot of travel, but what we're being more mindful of is how much we are driving. And perhaps if we're going two day trip, we're gonna block. We're gonna block that up a little bit more. So what do I mean by that? If we're doing, um, what would even be an example? I don't know. Uh, maybe from the west coast over to the east coast, we're gonna stop longer along the way if we need to kind of space out how much we're spending on gas. Mm -hmm. um, when gas was at the height last summer, we were spending about two grand to go from the east coast to the west coast. That, that'll kill That's a, budget. a fact. That'll kill a budget like that. So slowing down, taking longer things. I'm going to be super transparent. We are going to make a trip back to the East Coast, and we're going to do it in eight days. We're going to do it fast, but we're allocating that in our budget. We're yeah. staying now. We're staying where we are right now for two full months, and then when we get to the East Coast, we're actually going to be somewhere for about six months. We're going to be doing a lot of day trips into Canada, week or weekend trips into Canada and doing a lot of traveling on the East Coast, but we're not gonna be taking the RV. So your gas and where you're staying. Then I wanna to talk to you a little bit about discounts. Mm -hmm. So what do we have, what are some of our discounts? Uh, Good Sam's. Good Sam. Good Sam's AAA one. AAA members. AAA members, military. Yep. And I'm gonna tell you guys, they're not gonna be offering when you call to book nope. for the most part. You have, you have to mention it. <laughs> so say like, hey, do you have a Good Sam's discount? Um, the other thing that we have done and we have really enjoyed, I know there's a mixed bag on this, we've really enjoyed staying at KOAs. I'm gonna um, tell you where we're staying right now. I'm not gonna say where we are because we never disclose that till we go. But a three week rate was right around 1400. A month rate was seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Ask, ask, ask. Plus electric, they they will for the 
the month that you're there, but the end of the month you owe electric, and then the next month for most, for most, for most. most some places don't, guys. Most so that was a huge savings. So you know, even if our electrics are right around the 700 mark, we're still under a thousand dollars for a month. We also always look at amenities, right? So the couple we were talking with a lot this weekend, we met a really great family. Um, if you're boondocking and you're remote, chances are you're spending a little bit more budget on experiences. Yep. So where we are right now, we have two pools, a fitness center, a kid's zone. There's a lot of stuff for the kids. We are barely leaving the resort. The only thing we're really doing is going out right now to hike and pick up groceries, which is a lot of money. A lot of money. So, all right, so you're gonna do your discounts. You're gonna do um, either KOA, Good Sam's, um, we have heard a lot of conversation about Thousand Trails. We do not have a Thousand Trails membership, so I can't really give you a lot on that. Um, but if it is something you're interested in, look into it. You do pay either monthly or all up front, and then you have access to a bucket of RV resorts and spots across the US. So, all right, I hope this helped. Oh, I have one more for gas. There is an app called Upside. We don't work for them, but Upside, hey, we're here if you want to reach out. Um, <laughs> Upside has been great for us. So it's basically just an app. It's going to geo map where you are. It's going to tell you where the cheapest gas is. You're going to pay for it. You can um, input the last four digits of your credit card so it recognizes it. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you can actually get the receipt and take a picture of it with your phone and it uploads. I will tell you... It give what, what the whole stick on the whole thing is that it gives you stick. a certain percentage back per gallon um, so if you're filling up a huge diesel truck with nearly 40 45 gallons of fuel that will add up yeah and how much have we got in there right now so we have we've been using it for about three months we've been using it we've have probably 75 dollars in that account and you can have it dropped into your checking account you can have it dropped into like a walmart gift card Starbucks card. So upside, look at all of those rewards for your gas. So I would say, guys, we're coming to you. We're still new. We're only a year and a half, two years into this. But I'm going to tell you some of the things that you're going to waste your money on is your gas, where you're staying. Um, use all those little discounts. I was not a discount coupon person at all. Um, and now I am. And I do ask and I do say, do you have the good Sam's? Um, use it. it. It's worth it, right? It's going to save you guys a little bit of money. So, okay. Thanks for coming to us. We're right under the 10 minute mark. Um, we hopefully will show a little B-roll footage of what the resorts look like as opposed to a more remote location. I have some of that. So, um, all right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe. Don't wait on your dreams. Do it now. Get out there. We say this probably every third video. Um, you might not be able to sell everything and be crazy like us and do RV life, but do something. Put the laundry down. Enjoy the weekend with your kids, all right? So thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next Friday.